Right, this is the Spoke Race, um, the WTCR here at World America, and after the chaos that we saw in the main race yesterday, um, I've not really got a clue if Boucher's going to win the Spoke Race, um, so let's go. I mean, it's a stack of up here, so it could prove beneficial for her. Babu's trying to sneak one up the inside here, which he has done to be fair, but let's see into turn one who is out in front, Boucher going to get away. Who is going to be second? That's going to be Bamu Jost. Ezio got squeezed of room. Now Linkfish tries to go up the inside. But he lost his momentum. So we go through here. Let's see. Boucher get Not Boucher. Betsky going over the aggressive on the outside. One of the Esters moving the break. Here we got Mendez off the track. Might be the lighter cars go with the uh, long straights into the uh, tight corners. Like cars, all these corners got a load of cars fighting here. Yeah, we'll have a look uh, down the field. You can see Torres and Jensen in the back way of Nicole Leo. But it's Bouchard in front from Bavenu, then Firmino, and then uh, Ezio and Licksteiner and Lingvist, then Betsky and Hackinson, and then Darwin Deal and Cordova and Mabula. Uh, for the third, so we know as the other Alexia and Lingus. So we'll see who is out on top here. As the other drops away, let's see if that opens up any opportunities for Lickstein or for Lingus, but it's not on this occasion. And Betsy has Darwin Dion, got Cordova in the world. There's Mendes launching one on Haley Knight. But it's not going to pay off for him, unfortunately, unless he goes back up the inside here, which he does not. Um, oh, and that's Ezio. Well, this is what happened. Um, looks like I just clipped the rear end of him. So he drops the sixth. And that's Betsky nearly going wide. Surviving. And her teammate, Mario Bashir, has survived the first lap with a nice lead as well. Um, See if Hackinson can get past Betsky for self. Well, for me, that one's in gap. Well, I think he's close to the back end of Bavenu. <laughs> so, go through here. Let's see. And then there's this absolute monstrosity at the back. Let's see if Pavino can get past uh, Bavenu. For what second? Not to jinx it, but we've had a slightly quieter opening three and a half minutes than we did in the main race yesterday. Um, not, but still a bit entertaining, but there's not been like gymnastics, so. Well, you've got Boucher in the, you've got Boucher in the lead. Don't get too comfortable yet. Right, so that's when you put me there and then, yeah, looks like it just, uh, have you ever won a race before? Yeah, that was, that was an acid chain call. I do see that, yeah. Um, but we'll see if that continues. But, for me, they're going down the inside of Babadu, where the licks are in here as well. Yeah, 
yeah, damage is going to go right around the outside. Looks like probably going to stick one back up the inside. Uh, Babadook comes right around the outside, trying to hold that place. They're now five and a half seconds behind Boucher. Ten minutes to go. Now let's see if uh, Limbus can get past Lixo as he makes the move up the inside. Goes up the inside and gets the place, but half spins. Keeps the place though. Um, so look back there's Lim tangled up. Yeah, keep easy. Um, pretty easily as well. That's not too hard to play. Got the uh, CSAF in here, all looks good. Go. Betsky also once again performing a one way fluke and then disappearing. Oh, there's been a poor moment down this straight for Luxire. As it goes up the inside, Hackinson tries to follow him. Well, now Mount of Healing joins the fight, because who else but her in this bit of ice? Well, I mean, she's only 12 and a half seconds behind the giant. Oh, and that's... Come on. And Betsky doesn't get back into the points, despite that. Um, for chasing down Ezio. Some minutes to go. Let's see if Lickstar can get past Ezio McLaughlin. Uh, there, then behind him is Dion, who got ahead of Hackinson, and then for their normal and night, Don Juan and Betsy. Uh, Let's see. Shogun are actually competent now. What the fuck? Got the podium week. I mean. I mean, Lexfella goes up the inside, and Lexfella takes fifth place off of Ezio. And so, looking further ahead for the other, well, you've got the two line out for fighting for third. Keep an eye on that corner there. And there we go. Ezio. On we go. And Ezio drops out of the way. 
which I point that some of that does work out being the big scrap is seven. I'll be honest, I <laughs> sorry to say five minutes ago. Um Bush has ways to lose. She's got kept in the bag, so we'll see. I know you heard that she decided to do a funny, but hmm. currently, by the way, it is a fog one two, and I can't think of anything worse than that. So, trust me, what an awful way. Or in America, really, a French one two is just literally my worst nightmare. Right, anyway, um, Lynx are playing the spider for the other. Lucia just just a boss of black on the way. Yeah, she improved. Two minutes, six, one is it's fine. So, I don't know where Blue Shea keeps fighting this pace from, but... Well, well, it's a case of, is the Shogun good or is Blue Shea good? Wait, what was happening with this horse? He's in the way. No. Um. Let's see if maybe this was out anything will look further down. Because we've got a slow moving corner. Well, at least he's trying to go on the other side of Mendes, I think, anyway. Uh, Mendes on the outside, though, is going to have that fairly easily. He was going to ask is mental enough, which he's not. So, P9 for Mendes. It's simple. They actually put Georgie in charge. Um, hmm? oh, well. um, two minutes to go. Lingus going to try the move. I mean, could have said he is clear of Vinicius Jr. Oh. God. Let's see who. Well, I'm telling you now, he puts Neymar on a fight this lap, and it's not a case of who wins, it's a case of how quickly is Neymar killed. Lingo's trying to go along the outside. Not today. Boo! And that's a lot of instant. Mendes is fucked. That's basically the only way that uh, Boucher loses his race. Um, which he's not gonna hit. Thirty 
13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, well, for about everyone, well, for Boucher. Um, double podium, well, good result for Wayne Maui, Shogun get a win. Both Platinums, once again, do well. They're going to get a lot of points this weekend. Uh, Hackinson behind the next side. The Moore is going to cross the line in seventh with four to bow and eight. Um, Dion to ninth, then Knight, so good result from Valera. Then somehow Betsky, Winfield, then Perez to Crow and Darwin, and Mid, and Mendes, then Nim Sharma and Zerman. And the other is going to cross the line 20th. And Nikolai of the Anton Chiberia and Thomas. So that's the end of the race. Because Boucher is going to come round. So, no, yeah, we can end it here because Boucher won. Um, now, if anybody would like Debbie and Dying, would you please come to my office and present your notes? Anyway, that's the end of the race. Um, we'll see you next weekend. Right, anyway, until, until next weekend, we'll, uh, we'll see you around. Uh, so, yeah, next weekend we're back. Um, and then, yeah. Alright, time to go out to start, though. Oh, God, right, yeah, so we'll see you then. Uh, so, yeah, goodbye.